Hello, right, today is day one on the production of the script. Um, as you can see here, hold on, me and Liam have been getting hard on work on writing this script. And let me just say, it's going well. As you can see, I am going full on. Look at the amount of. Hold on, focus, focus. Uh, I have, at this moment, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pages open of writing my script. So, Liam is here. Hello, Liam. Today is day one. How are you feeling? If you can get in focus. Hold on. Optimistic about the whole thing. Are you? What are your What are your initial thoughts? How do you, how do you think, uh, looking back at this, in the future, well, do you have any? As well, it will be one of the best friends of my life. Yes. Amazing words said by Liam there. And I will come back to you when we are. Day two. So we're on day two in our fantastic between production schedule. Uh, my colleague is not here, unfortunately. Oh, so sure he'll be here next time. So, uh, no <laughs> So here's the Russian vlog in progress. Okay, it is 21st of March. We're on day five of shooting. Um, we've managed to shoot the office scenes. We've managed to shoot both of the coffee shop scenes. Um, we plan, but we need to take some reshoots for a few of those, both the office and the uh, coffee shop scenes. Uh, I would say my role as a cameraman has been all right. I think I've managed to cooperate well with my partner. Um, I could do better in with some scenes, make sure everything is in focus, make sure everything is right. Um, and I hope to take this into account for our next session, which will be in the TV studio with Nathan. So Liam, what are you doing? Light. Which, which, which lights are you using? The uh, red headlights. Ooh, red heads are very nice. So how many red lights are you, um, red lights are you using? Uh, three. Heads. Three? Mm. Mm, it's very interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just on the, ca on the cable. Can you see me? It's very dark, but you can just see it. So then what are you doing? So I'm prepping the lights because obviously, as you can see, it's quite dark here. It's very dark. It's extremely dark. Um, so I'm just going to set these lights up and then mm. that will let us to do the shot that we need. Okay. okay. These are the cables they're going to use for the lights. Oh. Oh, Liam, always remember to use a colour when dealing with lights. Yeah. Always remember to deal with, use colours when dealing with lights. Hmm? Let there be light. Production's going so funny, so good. Yeah. 
How's it going, men? Production. Production is going pretty well. Uh, we just set up this scene. Um, I just set up the lights. I'm just filling with the camera. Okay. Get to him. So as you can see, I have made sure that this the setting is quite. I've made sure that what we see here is what we see on the uh, on the screen. So I've made sure that the lighting is all good. Uh, mm -hmm. Liam made sure there wasn't any shadows, and now I'm just uh, adjusting the uh, aperture, the uh, ISO, and the uh, white balance so that it is all pretty much how I want it to look. Okay. Uh, now I think we're all done. We just need a bit of clearing up on set, and then we should be rolling. Great. All right. Really, all right. All right. Huh? So, okay. All right, Ben. So, what? What scene are we doing? I am setting up the camera. Yes. So that we can get this over the shoulder shot, of Nathan. Yep. Acting, singing. And what are you doing, Yusuf? What are you um, doing, Liam? That's a much important question. I'm just playing the boss. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Well, I am recording this uh, video for our behind the scenes uh, video. Hold on, actually, no, cut. I did It's hard to say hard mm -hmm. when you've got no air. <laughs> So right now, Liam is currently editing the. I mean, uh, is currently editing the uh, the behind the scenes. We've split the work up. Liam's editing the behind the scenes, and I'm editing the uh, the actual thing. So he's getting away there. What, what are we seeing here, Liam? Can you give us a description of what you're doing? Um, so right now, I'm working on editing a few early recordings of some of the scenes that we've done. Uh, just to show our, our progression um, through towards the final edit. What, what, what kind of scenes are we looking at here then? Um, well, two scenes I wanted to focus on in particular are the office scene and the uh, scenes with the coffee shop because those were the, um, where we recorded the um, most sessions. And overall, mm. nice and work, Liam. Also, as well as where most of the difference is from the, from the progression to the final edit. Why? What, what, what progressions can we see? Um, well, for one thing, in the final edit, we use a different location that looks more like a proper office, whereas we used uh, EG12 for the first two sessions, which, um, based on criticism, um, didn't look too much like an office. Other than Okay, so I've been editing uh, this film Another Chance, and a few things I've done um, to make to just fit in with the mise en scène is scenes where the uh, scenes where the past and present to make that distinguishing line. I've done scenes in the present uh, in like this. I've 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 uh, half the saturation. So if we see here, obviously there's a uh, there's a crop. There is um, there is a tint. Uh, the saturation has been halved here. And then obviously in scenes where it's in the past to fit in with the narrative because the character because of the character he had more 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 better memories in the past than he is obviously now. Um, we can see that uh, that warm colour that he felt. 
Another thing that I've done here is, is I've color coded a lot of the. Uh, so we see this scene here, but obviously this was heavily edited on because of the lighting in the. If we see here. If we see here, this was the original um, lighting in the room. Obviously, we couldn't use that lighting because it's set in the present. This scene here has been achieved by using a freeway color corrector tint. Obviously, uh, every every scene it's set in the present is used has has been used by tint. Um, and yeah, uh, I've I've just been busy with that really. Colour correcting, editing. Um, we made a few decisions the other day, yesterday to be specific. We had a scene in where we had a scene in where Liam was going to uh, he was going to uh, exit this office, but he didn't. The office scene was shot a total of three times during our recording period on separate days. The first set of footage was recorded on the 16th of March and we did not use it mainly for two reasons. Firstly, based on criticism, the scene did not look like a proper office in terms of mise-en-scene. This is due to the fact that we used room AG12, which was a classroom. Another issue was the lighting as it came out too dark and too blurry for us to use. The second set of footage was recorded on the 29th of March and although the lighting was a little better it still did not look right in terms of being on scene. Eventually we used AG16 which looked more like a proper office to record the scene. Much like the office scene, the coffee shop scene was recorded three times on three separate days of production. The first set of footage, recorded on the 15th of March, was not used due to poor focus from the camera. The footage was also modelled by overexposure of natural lighting. The second set of footage, recorded on the 30th of March, was based on reshooting shots 9 to 11. Overall, this footage came out better than the last set. However, it was decided that these scenes, though better quality than the previous takes, needed to be re-recorded due to a slight lack of lighting in the scenes. So, you're seeing me right now because I need to explain a few things to you in the case that our pre-production doesn't fit up with what our video is. I know, very naughty. So, why is this the case? Um, we we made a rough edit of what we were going to do. So we had feedback and our narrative wasn't as clear as we thought. And that was very bad because people weren't getting the story at all. And people were like, oh, she's dead. So we needed to make the hints a bit less subtle, so uh, we wrote, I wrote um, a segment in the script about, uh, I tried to hint toward that it being cancer and in incorporate all the subtle hints that we did include, flashed them all back at the end and that seemed to work pretty well. This was a group uh, decision made by me and Liam and uh, we decided this would be best for our production.